Um, our ages were both short. <laughs> Actually, um, Paul wrote that song voluntarily. That was not planned. That song wasn't in the script. The scene wasn't in the script. But he sort of identified with Gonzo. I think being short, he felt like he described himself as feeling like a flightless bird, which is how he saw Gonzo. And um, so he came in with that song. We got to LA to shoot the movie. And he delivered all the songs to Jim. And he had this extra one that he wrote for Gonzo. And uh, it was so beautiful and powerful that we, we used it. Sorry guys, I didn't mean to steal all your thunder. Who else has any questions? Hi, thank you. Uh, we're both huge fans, we each have a question. Uh, he'd like to know, how do you stay so young looking after all these years, Gonzo? Oh, how do I stay so young? Well, that's easy. You know, I'm, I'm, I live in Hollywood. <laughs> <laughs> I've had work. <laughs> you know, anytime the nose starts sagging a little bit, I just call Dr. Gutnick. <laughs> and I'm all okay. I would like to know how you met Camilla. What's that? I'd like to know how you met Camilla. How I met Camilla? Well, I mean, uh, yeah, we, there were always a lot of chicks around.